everybody, welcome, welcome to a new episode of All Aboard, a segment on my YouTube channel where I talk about board games, about my channel, about other stuff, if I feel like doing some other stuff. Alright, welcome, my name is Kurt aka the Vitruvian Gamer and let me start by, well, talking about the games that I played this week. And there are a few, it has been a slow week. Um, but there have been a few because I went to Zomerspel last Sunday. Zomerspel is a convention in, uh, well, near Ghent in Belgium. And uh, it's, I don't know how many, uh, many times they already organized it, but it was uh, this weekend again. It's, uh, for Belgian standards, one of the bigger ones in Belgium. It's not huge. Uh, at all, but it's a nice one. It was the first time that I went there and uh, well with, uh, I was lucky my friends Corina and Rindert, uh, two people from the Netherlands that uh, helped me when doing uh, portal stuff, they were there as well so me and Elise we joined them in the day of playing games. We started uh, with well, we started by we playing a short game of Karuba. Uh, I've talked about this game before, uh, even in my top 10 of last week. A uh, really fun game, it, I, st I keep loving it. Uh, this one was won pretty hard by uh, Corina. <laughs> Congratulations, Corina. Then we went to the second hand market where I bought some games which I absolutely forgot to put on the table. So let me grab them quickly. <laughs> Okay, so I spent a little bit of money there, not that lot. Uh, I didn't buy anything in the real store there, so there were board games for sale, but nothing that I really needed at that moment. But I did bought some uh, games on the second-hand market, uh, and I preparing for the future. Who knows? Maybe I will become a dad. We have some friends with small children as well, and some of these games are pretty fun for it, uh, uh, adults as well. So I took a chance and I bought some Haba games. Uh, I bought Puste Kuchen. Puste Kuchen. Kuchen. I don't know. It's uh, a game about jelly cake, chocolate tart to celebrate a birthday. Um, I have no idea how it works, but it's with cute components with uh, a wooden ball and these wooden pieces and all kinds of stuff. So it's. Looks, it looked fun, it was uh, cheap. Uh, most of the time, when the, this is on a second-hand uh, website, they sell these for at least 5 to 10 uh, euro, and this was 3.5 euros, so that was okay. Also, for the same price, I bought this game called Sihi, a safe knaka. Uh, I don't know, we joined Sigi Safe Knapper of Beutzug. I have no idea what that says, it's in German, so I have to check the rules. So, but that's new in my collection. And then I bought, and it was a new copy, uh, very still sealed, a game of Farah O. -O. Um, it used to be called differently, I forget the name, can't say it now. Halle Galley? No, I'm not sure. Uh, and this has a special thing, so you're all in this um, in this script. This uh, you are finding the treasure chamber of this pharaoh, and uh, sometimes you have to, you have this thing here, this bowl with these marbles in it, and sometimes you have to pull out a marble and hope that the stick that's in the this thing doesn't fall off. Otherwise, there is an avalanche of rocks. It looked cool. I know Tom Vassell of the Dice Tower liked it, so I just took a chance and bought it and hopefully it is as fun as it looks like. Alright, so that's uh, what we bought. Then afterwards we keep, we continue playing. We uh, played a game of crazy cards to, 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 with the four of us and uh, well, Elise and I won that one. Uh, Fun game, it's a really fun game, really crazy, but uh, we played four players. I really advise you to play six players uh, at least, so that's a real crazy part gets out of the game uh, when you have more players. After that we went uh, to play a game of Dice Town, no, I'm lying, So, but we also played Dice Town, a game by Ludovic Moblan and Bruno Catala. It was their first time that they played it, uh, we played it more, uh, we have a copy here, so uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, it, Especially if you know poker, then it is uh, really easy to grasp. If you ever play poker, it's a little bit harder with the poker results and what 
to do so. But we enjoyed that and we also played a game of I have forgotten the name. <coughs> I'll put a picture right here, you can watch, read the title. I have no idea what it's called. Uh, it's about these waterfalls. And the cool thing is that you have this board, well, you have the, the, the board, uh, the, the box, the bo two boxes, they are the, uh, they hold the game board and it's like a waterfall at the end. And so you have to get these gemstones uh, from different places and bring them back to your camp. Uh, it, it looks gimmicky, it's, it's, it is a gimmick of course, because you have to, the, the water are these plastic uh, rounds thingies that you have to slide and then the river flows really and your canoe can drop in the waterfall out of the, in the waterfall and then you lose your boat and you lose the gems if they were in, in inside of them. We played way too gently, uh, apparently you have to be hard to each other because Elisa just ran with the victory uh, because we didn't stop her on time. So if you play this game, be sure to steal gems from each other. That's what you need to do. All right. We also played a game of Room 25. I also put, put a picture right here. Uh, it's a, you can play this cooperatively, semi-cooperatively or uh, against each other. We played the, we played the co-op version and I'm not sure about this one. It, I understand the idea, the team is cool, it's like the, the movies uh, The Cube, it's, uh, th that reminded me a little bit of this one, but it didn't do what we hoped. I think, I'm not sure if you played it completely right. It's like a puzzle, a sliding puzzle where you want to find the room, this room 25, and you want to get inside that room but also on a certain spot on the board because they, it's a grid of uh, rooms and you want you can slide the uh, tiles so it was interesting it didn't what well, didn't work great uh, maybe we should give it another try someday and see if we can play this right without reading the terrible rulebook the rulebook was really terrible all right that's the games that I've played this week uh, um, and the new games as well so the games that I bought now for this channel it's been really quiet on this channel I know I know so last time I was telling you about this preview uh, playthrough that I was going to do and uh, it has been filmed it's completely done but the game is not on Kickstarter yet so I'm waiting for that to happen as soon as that happens and as soon they give a green light for these uh, playthrough videos I can finally post them here for you to enjoy so very silent uh, I did um, another live streaming of a video game yesterday no Monday uh, I played Sherlock Holmes the devil's daughter <clears throat> so each time I do that it won't be every week it will be when I have time and when I feel like it you can join me and watch it uh, and you can talk to me and answer and ask me some questions or whatever uh, there weren't a lot of viewers uh, one thing that was really sad was that exactly at the same time I started streaming the Dice Tower had a live stream so well that's a couple of hundreds of people that wouldn't want to watch me playing video games. So, but it's okay, I enjoyed it. You can always watch it afterwards. It is on the channel for you to enjoy. Um, what else did we do? Uh, well, uh, today, so not, uh, no, well, today I'm recording this. So I am uh, started, uh, I filmed, uh, recorded the playthrough of Castle of Burgundy, the card game. I'm playing the solo variant. You uh, will have already noticed part one going online and there are two more parts coming up pretty soon. So that's something I did. I can already tell you that I really enjoyed playing this solo. It's a really good uh, implementation. And if you like Castle of Burgundy, it's a nice way to play this solo. Now, talking about Castles of Burgundy, let's make this my topic of this week. I've been playing more Castles of Burgundy, but the real game, but not the real game. I've been playing the normal game, but not here on the table. No, I finally discovered or started playing on a website where you can play board games. And the, the website that I'm playing at is called Watajeu. It's uh, on watajeu.net. And this is a site where there are about around 20 games, I think, that you can play online against each other. Most of them are turn-based, so you can play, do a move and then you wait until all other players did their move and then it's, you can do something again. 
Uh, if you create a game, you can choose whether it, how many time, uh, how much time people players have to make their next move before they are kicked out. But the cool thing is they have castles of Burgundy and Trajan on that side, so as uh, games. And I really, really, really like those games. So I've joined a few of them and I've been enjoying it pretty much. Uh, it, it's it's really fun. It's uh, yeah, it's good. It's it's very recognizable because it's all it looks like you're playing a real board game and you can take your time uh, there's also Dixit I've joined a few of that I'm not too happy with that implementation I prefer to play that on the table um, there's Alhambra there is Salkin uh, Agricola you can play there so there are pretty uh, there's a nice selection of games not all of them that I know um, and there are more websites like this there is board game arena for example that I know I haven't played there yet so, but I might consider doing it now because uh, I'm yeah I really enjoy it so my question to you is first of all uh, do you play games on uh, that kind of websites there are also these uh, things like tabletop simulator and stuff like that do you play it there you can also always ask me to play a game on whatajeu.net uh, if you like uh, I prefer to play uh, Trajan or Castles of Burgundy so if you ever want to do that and you have an account there please let me know put it here in the comments or send a private message through uh, Twitter I'm at Vitruvian Gamer and maybe we can start a game uh, together so that would be nice now, I also have uh, a new idea for a new segment and, well, uh, for that I think I'm, the idea is almost completely made. I already contacted some people to help me with that because I will be needing some help from some people because otherwise it would be a very strange uh, uh, segment. But um, let me know if you know if there are any questions. I'm looking for questions that are interesting or unique or funny or whatever to ask someone uh, they can be board game related uh, and they can be something else but let me know I'm looking for a selection of uh, 10 questions to ask uh, someone that's all the spoilers I'm giving I think uh, it's already a lot of spoiling that I'm doing uh, so I'm looking for cool questions to ask someone and I uh, Put it in the comments if you have pretty, if you have any idea of, of uh, interesting questions to ask someone and uh, then I can make this segment uh, even better maybe than I hope it will be. So that's it for now. So let me know in the comments. Feel free to comment about anything in the uh, below here. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already here. Why aren't you? And that reminds me I'm going to grab the tablet and I'm going to welcome some new people because we had a few new subscribers here. Okay, a few new people here uh, that subscribed. We're uh, we're going strong. Uh, more than 410 more than 410 followers here, which is awesome. Um, did I mention that I might do a contest when we reach 500? Maybe that helped. <laughs> uh, but I would love to do so. 500 is the magic number. All right. So uh, who joined us? We were joined by Eduardo Rodriguez. Re Eduardo, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to uh, interact with us. Uh, it's a great small community here. I love all the people that come here. We also been joined by Angela Martin or Angela Martin. I'm not sure. Let me know if you hear this. Let me know if you, where you're from. Um, but welcome, welcome. Another uh, female name. That's great because, as I told you last time, there are too much. Well, the the balance is not what it should be yet. All right. We also have been joined by by Ivesh. Ivesh. Uh, welcome to the channel good to see you also wondering where you come from please let me know and we are also joined by Stephen Carr Stephen Carr welcome to the channel now I think that's it uh, as I already told you I get mails emails when someone subscribes I have this feeling that I uh, don't get an email from everybody when they subscribe so there might be more than this I have a feeling we have more subscribers than only four, uh, but okay. These four are already welcomed. If I didn't mention you, 
also let me know below and I will mention you next time. All right, people, that's it for this week, for this episode of All Aboard. So, what can you expect? You expect more Bergen, uh, Bogen van Bogen Cotton Spiel, uh, two more uh, parts coming up. Uh, you can expect, well, maybe, maybe the preview that I'm doing. Talking about previews, there's one other coming up, uh, a game that already has been funded by the time the video will come up, but there is still a pre-order that's coming for that. So you can expect another one in the future. So exciting times and exciting weeks, and I hope you will be there to join me in those weeks. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the future. Bye-bye. Oh!